There is no failure, only feedback. Failure is an event, not a person. So to accelerate your speed of success, you must accelerate your speed of failure. And top producers embrace the concept called fail forward fast. They're not afraid to fail because there is no such thing as failure, just feedback. Like the late and great Thomas Edison once said when he supposedly failed 10,000 times to create the incandescent light bulb, he said, I didn't fail. I just discovered 10,000 ways for it to not work so I can discover what does work to notice the perspective on failure, very different than the average. Would you not agree? Just another opportunity to start again more intelligently. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. He also said, success is the ability to go from failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm. I love that. From failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm. That's resilience. That's patient tenacity. The only way to fail is if you actually quit, if you give up, if you don't learn something. If you learn something, then you've succeeded. Then you gain new insight. We seek progress, not perfection. So notice a top producer mind is a mind that's focused on learning, taking risks, understanding there is no reward without risk. They're okay with failure because failure is not final. It's just another opportunity to start again more intelligently. And they use that feedback to move forward. They fail forward fast. Now, let's move on to the third thought habit of top producers. And that is getting comfortable being uncomfortable. They embrace the concept of being uncomfortable. Just like when you go to the gym, you're not going to the gym to coddle your comfort zone, are you? You're getting in the gym to get out of your comfort zone, to get comfortable being uncomfortable. No pain, no strain, no gain, right? That's the whole concept of going to the gym. And so top producers apply that principle to their business, to their whole life. Now, I'm not talking about the top producer that's out of shape, that has their marriage in shambles, that works 80 hours a week, that is totally out of kilter and out of balance. In my mind, that's not success. There is no success if there is failure inside the home. You can't have success outside the home. There is no success outside the home if there's failure inside the home. So we need to embrace the concept that being a top producer is about living your blessed life, your best life, living an abundant life in all the areas that matter to you, in your health, in your wealth, in your family, in your faith, with your friends, holistic holistic success. That's really what success is. And so when I'm talking about a top producer, I'm talking about someone who embraces holistic expansion of growth in all the areas of their life that matter. Faith, family, fitness, friends, all that. And of course, finances is just one of the many that matter. 